The Super Bowl is this Sunday, and what's a Super Bowl party without yummy food? So, in this week's Things to Do, we're whipping it up in the kitchen with a chef at MSU and showing you three appetizers that will help you score a touchdown with your guests. First thing we have is just some Bavarian style soft pretzels with beer cheese dip. Real easy to make at home. This will take about 20 minutes to make and all you need is a stove and these ingredients. Beer, cream, flour, salt, pepper, onions, garlic, and some spice and cheese. And then pre-made soft pretzels. Since the pretzels are pre-made, you can just warm them up in the oven. And as far as the beer cheese dip, First, you melt butter on medium heat. We're gonna use this to saute the onions and garlic, and then we'll add our flour to make a roux right in here. And then you'll add a little bit of beer, cream, cheese, and seasoning, and voila, beer cheese dip to go with your pretzels. The second item that we would have would be the rusty with the bratwurst, uh, dark onions, and veal demi pickled mustard seed. Chef Rob says they're basically fancy hash browns. You will need steamed or baked potatoes that you have shredded, sliced pre-cut bratwurst, pickled mustard seeds, and some caramelized onions, nice and dark, and then some veal demi. So something like that, if you just wanted to get some like beef gravy at the store out of the can, still be great. We've got a mini muffin tin. You can use any size muffin tin that you have at home, or if you want, you could just make these as like flat hash browns in a pan. Just taking them, brushing them with some butter, seasoning them with some salt and pepper. And then you add the shredded potatoes and form them into little cups in the muffin tin. Add a little more butter and place them in the oven for 30 minutes at 350 degrees. Uh, while those are in the oven, we'll want to take our bratwurst and sear them for three minutes on each side. Once those are done, you can place the rosti on a plate. Add the bratwurst, onions, sauce, and the mustard seeds for a finishing touch. And finally, you can't have a party without wings. So we whipped up some cider brined jerk wings with jerk aioli. We take wings and we put them in a cider brine, and then we take them out and season them with a dry rub, grill them, uh, and then we just finish them in the oven. Easy to do at home, and it's served with a Caribbean style aioli. Most people remember the food. Some of us aren't even there for the game. You know, commercials, food, then probably the outcome of the game. We'll have more details on these recipes on our website. Just head on over to fox47news.com. Keeping you in the loop with things to do, I'm your neighborhood reporter, Tiana Jenkins.